anyone who does any type of ministry long enough will inevitably struggle with what is commonly referred to as a Messiah complex. You will at some point mistake yourself for being the Savior. You will at some point feel the burden of having to save the world, and, and you'll feel kind of this crushing pressure, and somebody will have to sit you down and say, look, we already have a Savior. We don't need a new one. Jesus saw this coming, and so he warned his disciples. He says, don't mistake being the messenger for being, being the message itself. Don't mistake being a servant for being the master. He said, all I'm asking you to do is to point to me. He says, if anybody receives the message that you give them, they will actually be receiving me, myself. And so it's a good reminder for all of us as Christians is we have this opportunity to evangelize, to share the good news, and to point people to Christ. Paul does this in a beautiful way in the first reading. He points to how powerfully God has worked throughout the Israelites' life, culminating in the person of Jesus. He just points to him and lets the power of that speak for itself. One powerful thing we can do, particularly as Catholics, is point people to the sacraments. These are the ways that Jesus has chosen to be with us here on earth, fully, powerfully, concretely, sacramentally. And it's very powerful to point people to them, to experience them, to prepare for them, to receive for them. Because the receiving Jesus, the receiving uh, his love. And so let us beware of that Messiah complex that can come up sometimes, feeling like it's all on us to save the world, but no to point people to the one who's already saved us, the one who's already died for us, risen for us, and given himself completely to us in so many amazing ways and most powerfully through the sacraments we cherish in the church.